A very good morning. My name is Alok, and I welcome you to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So in Delhi, the summers are here, and as you, you as you can see, uh, it's the latest pic with a new hairdo here. I've changed uh, the hairstyle. I'm now like sporting slightly shorter hairs. So please give me the feedback about the hairs <laughs> as well as the video. So friends, what's in this video? In this video, I'm going to show you. Okay, let me open my trusted virtual machine in this particular video i am going to show you how to have your customized error pages in apache you all know what is apache and why we use it obviously it is a web server and we used to host our websites using apache now i had already installed apache here and the service is running here so i am not uh, showing you how to install Apache using the yum you all know all these tips and tricks you all are very intelligent guys yeah I know that so what I had done I go to where www.html you see here I have got a simple uh, index.html file if, if I just show you the contents I had mentioned it, it a, a simple two lines this is a sample default page for server1.example.com and just for your reference i'll just tell you that my host name is server1.example.com so the apache is running i'm using the default document root i'm you i'm using the default directory index so obviously i need not to do anything in the http.com file so merely restarting the service will do the trick so now if i open the browser and I write my website name http slash slash server one dot example dot com obviously it is showing me the sample page that I had created but if I try to give some wrong page or wrong URL say fake dot HTML so by default what Apache does it throws me the default error which is already there within the Apache now I want to change this how can you change this default error page you you can change one error page or if you want to like overhaul your apache you're free to change all the error pages so let us understand where these error pages are and how you can change these error pages to suit your company needs or uh, your requirements i just close it down look guys basically what happens if you go to where www in this you will find a directory there error I go to the error yes you guessed it right this is the directory that contains all the error pages all the error error pages now what happens here is that whenever some error occurs the Apache goes in this particular folder where www error and then show you the specific error page as per the error happened now what I do here now I create in this folder I'm creating my own error page say I have one okay look here just to save the time what I had done I had created my own error page here it is 404 alloc custom error dot HTML I'll show you though I'm not very good in HTML so I just mentioned it here this testing a new error page and then here I just mention it network nuts and the page I just modified the page you are looking for is not here I just specified my error that is fine with, with me I saved and started the service but I just created the file now what I need to tell Apache to please refer this 404-alloc-custom-error.html file instead of the default page that is HTTPD not found. And if you see here the error code that I had got was HTTP colon slash slash fake it was 404. 404 is the error code a three digit error code for the error that is fine with with me now I open the okay 
what I do here I copy my error file name to make things easier for me now I open the conf file etc httpd conf and obviously httpd.conf and search for the word error error document I had already searched it here you you come just if you see there I, I am here I am showing showing you how to change the error code 404 so what I did here is I uncomment this line because it is by default taking the default page remove this page and here I pasted my page name that's it so I had changed the default settings and I had told Apache that when the 404 error comes please use this error file the syntax of the error document is that you you need to first write error document then the error code 404 and then the action action can be a it that you are redirecting it to some error page save and come out I restart the service here that is fine that's work fine now if I try to open this file with the same fake page that's it look it is giving me the new error testing a new error page network nuts the page you are looking for is not here Ob obviously I hadn't done a very good HTML page so you are uh, getting the error in a plain text form like a format without any headers or anything you are free to do all those things now what I do here is that suppose so but this error page remember friend is global means it will be applicable on all the virtual hosting that you have done all the websites those are hosted on this particular Apache will be, get, be getting the same error page you can even customize every site for a different error page look what I do here is now I go to where www.html this is the default page I create a folder second I am hosting a second site I went to the second I create a index.html file here this is second.com and now I go to etc httpd conf httpd.conf go to the bottom here because I'm, I'm I'm hosting a second site it it will be a virtual hosting name virtual host specify the IP my IP here in this case is 14 okay I'll just make it here and then I define my virtual host virtual host 192.168.0.14 sorry server admin can be anything root at second.com server name second.com document root if you remember I created a folder where www.html second and then directory index is index.html if I just leave it like this I hadn't defined anything here and I, I just simply hosted a second site I save and come out and because I don't have a DNS for this site so what I need to do I need to make up an entry in the host file so I give 192.168.0.14 if you have a DNS configure then you need not to do this I save and came out I restart the service service stdpd restart that is fine now if I open the browser once again and I try to open second dot com whatever oh I think it it was second dot example dot com let me check it it will be second dot say example dot com that, that will make more sense and I need to change my host file also yes second dot example dot com that's fine and I restart the service once again take care of these typos the typo errors now if I open this and hopefully everything will work second dot example dot com it is working fair enough now if I'm trying to hit a wrong URL fake dot HTML again the same error page is coming the error page means the error page that you had customized in the global section will be applied on all the websites 
for a particular error code 404 you don't want this you you want that for second dot html you should have a different error page and for third dot html means every site should have a different error page if you desired so what need to be done here is that i open the conf file once again just in this block just write error document the error code is 404 and then some other page say i write here say second 404 error dot html that means if a wrong url happens for second dot html this particular page should be thrown no now what i need to do i just need to create this file so i just copy this to avoid the typo errors i go to where www errors i create this file second error and be because i'm not very good in html uh, i don't know whether it it will work or not i say second error wow so typical coding man i can tell you this <laughs> You can see there, I'm very good in HTML. Now I'd learn the HTML. Yo. Now let us try. If I write here HTTP slash slash second fake, look, here. it is giving me a different error page. And if I'm trying to hit the normal one, it is giving me the, the default one. So you have changed the default one also. You have changed the error page for the virtual sites also. So you're free to have error pages, different error pages for different virtual sites. And if you are lazy like me, what you can do is that instead of creating a like error page, you can pass a string here also. I copy this for you. You can also do like, like this. I make this comment and I real lazy stuff, man. You can also pass a string like this. So need not to even create a file. Let's see whether it works or not. I start the service, service, stdbd restart. Again, if I just do a refresh here, yeah real lazy stuff man so in this case you you have seen you don't even need to create a page you can write the stuff here so it is solely up to you whether you want a separate error page for each and every uh, website that you are hosting or you want to change the default one the default one i had sh shown you i'll just show you error document just do a search here here it it is so I had changed the default one. The default one will automatically like uh, inherited on all the virtual sites unless and until you override it with a different error page or your own stuff here. So in this way, you can have error pages for different error pages to suit your company needs. You can put your logo, your contact information, everything for different pages for different websites. So that is actually a second step in customization of your website those are hosted on apache one more thing friends you can do that if you just do a ll here you can see there there's a folder there include and okay one very important point is that please do not modify the default error pages please add your own error pages and do not modify the default error pages why because these error pages if you just see any error page they are being i just show you one based on languages look here D the error pages for different languages so please do not modify the the default one and please feel free to create your own error pages for the total overhauling of your errors so okay i was just referring to this include folder if you go in this error folder you you can see there there's a folder there include if you are very good in html these are the bottom top and the 
spacer means your headers and all the things those comes in the error so if you are good in html i'm not so you can e e even modify the like the top banners your logos and everything for the errors so i hope you like this small video to customize the errors on global basis and on per site basis and guys so that was the video all about and please if you like the video please like the video and share the video because you know i have got certain skills that if i find out through internet or through youtube that you have liked the the video but you have not liked it then i'll be real angry man i can tell you this and those are, are the skills i have acquired during my lifetime of practice so i can find out if you have liked it but you have not liked it okay that's fine thank you it's all for like all for the fun i i don't have any of those kinds of skills those are skills are only being uh, like uh, possessed by power rangers or or uh, or superman kind of guys i am not superman so see you again thank you god bless take care enjoy the summers in white t-shirt yo stop the video now